Join us as we explore the island of Aruba via our Virgin Voyage cruise, which took in January of 2024. With Virgin, you have until midnight to explore this island. So we rented a Jeep so we could set off on our own via Royal Car Rental Aruba. This was a local company that I rented from in advance. It was super easy. They met us at the dock with the keys and the paperwork. Very simple. They meet you in downtown, so that's where the cruise port is, and you can basically set off, shop a little, or just hit the island. We decided to drive along the coast. Got to see some beautiful real estate basically lining the entire island. But we were headed north to a spot that was recommended to us called Arashi Beach. With Aruba, there are 365 days of sunshine, and as you can see, we definitely got one of them today. So the first stop was the Arashi Beach Shack. So this is, again, at the northern tip of the island. We were able to get a parking spot here and post out for a couple of hours. So they had a great spot. We were able to get burger, a couple of rounds of margaritas, lots of places to sit and hang out for the day. There were plenty of people that were bringing chairs and um, again, just posting up and hanging out. We got a spot a little further down the beach because we like to get in the water and do some snorkeling. So, walked a little further down. Will is filming with his Insta360 camera here, which is awesome. Takes, I think, 5K video. And invisible selfie stick. We brought our own towel. We brought our own bag that is waterproof. We always bring that, mask, snorkel, and then anything else you might need for the day. I always, of course, find a spot to do some yoga poses. And there is plenty to do. Lots of places to rent if you're interested in coming back here. This has a very Floridian vibe. So I think anyone from the US would feel comfortable coming here. There is a shipwreck just offshore, the SS Antilla, that you can explore. That's what that boat um, is kind of doing out there. You could actually get there from where we were at. I just didn't want to uh, get out there without fins. But tons of life. Here I'm getting ready to go in and explore and see what we can find underwater. very windy that day and you can see there's windsurfing going on, kite surfing. This would be an excellent place uh, to enjoy those types of activities. This is a beautiful view looking back on Arashi Beach. Just the beautiful palm trees blowing in the wind, colorful umbrellas, the sun is shining. Could not have asked for a more beautiful day.
We walk a little ways down. Just another beautiful spot for pictures. Tons of little crabs and snails everywhere. But we reached the end of the trail, so turned around, got back in the car, and headed down to the next spot. Arashi Bay, this was just a beautiful little inlet. We pulled in, were able to get out, take some pictures. That's the beautiful thing about renting a Jeep, is you can just go, do what you want, stop where you want. And that is exactly what we did next. We had intended to go see the California Lighthouse, but right next to it is this amazing landscape, the Sassarici Dunes. Looks like something from another planet. So Will took the wheel on this one. We spotted some other Jeeps driving around, so we decided to do the same. drove around, explored the shoreline, the coastline, felt like we were on Mars, did not feel like we had been snorkeling in that blue water not 10 minutes before that. Super windy here as well, but beautiful. And again, we were the only ones there. Once we got out, we walked kind of down to the shoreline, to this beachy area. So they have these rocks set up, just so, so windy and very beautiful. So we posted up, I'd say we probably spent about an hour kind of driving around exploring these dunes and just taking in the views and the landscape and the time together. West Punt Beach, famous rocks. After that, we headed to lunch at Pizza Bob's. So this is a famous spot on the island, delicious. Got in some more yoga at the Yoga Pavilion at Manchibo Bay. So we headed to Eagle Beach and Manchibo Bay Beach Resort, which is a beautiful spot. I have looked at staying myself, so I'm very happy I was able to see it in person. You can see this beach is I mean, football fields wide. So if you love the sand, where you need to go and where you need to look at staying. So we spent the end of the day, the sunset hours here, which was a great decision. Walked off that pizza and enjoyed the views. doesn't get much better than that. After that, we hopped back into the Jeep and we were pretty tired from our full day in the sun. So we decided to head back to downtown to the cruise port, go ahead, return the car. So thanks for traveling along with us in Aruba today. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Check out the link in the description to view our website and our blog. Thanks for watching. This is Kristen reminding you to travel more.